Immigration, gun control, the coronavirus, top focuses of the Biden administration right now. Today, I spoke one on one with White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki and asked her specifically about the vaccine supply coming to California. Governor Newsom announced yesterday that he is expanding the vaccine eligibility, which was great news for Californians and a bit of a surprise because on the local level, our county health officials saying the supply just isn't there yet. So is it's coming? It's coming, and that's great news for the people of California. Uh, I will say one of the steps we're also trying to take is to expand the number of options people have uh, in terms of locations to get the vaccine. So uh, the president has announced that he is, we're now funding uh, more than 900 community health centers around the country. We're expanding mass vaccination sites, places where people can go with their entire family of people who are 16 and older, of course, to get these vaccines, expanding the supply that's going to pharmacies around the country, another place that uh, people are really going, they can pick up two pace and also get vaccinated. So supply is increasing and going out across the country, across Northern California, and we are confident uh, that uh, people will be able to uh, get it uh, as quickly uh, in the coming weeks. Now, I, I will say that one of the issues that people have run into is figuring out where they can get the vaccine. So we're also taking steps like a website, 1-800 numbers, um, people who can be uh, Sherpas of sorts to help people figure out where to get the vaccine, to help ensure people in all sorts of communities know where they can go. We just got word, though, today from FEMA and Cal OES that they're shutting down the two main vaccination sites here in California, April 11th, that their operation has ended, the one at the Oakland Coliseum and Dodger Stadium. Why is that? Well, I think our COVID team is always looking at what is effective, what is working well, what is the what are the best and most efficient ways to get vaccines in the arms of people across the country and across Northern California. Uh, there are programs that started out as pilot programs, like our pharmacy program, that have massively increased. Uh, our, we've massively increased the supply that's going to those programs. There are other programs where, in some cases, uh, they were pilot programs, and we may not continue them. In these, in terms of these two mass vaccination sites, I don't know what the future looks like uh, for those. There are mass vaccination sites across the country, and including in California, that we will continue to invest in and make sure they have the supply needed to vaccinate uh, people in the community. Can we switch gears here and talk about um, hate crimes against Asian Americans? That's a big problem here in the Bay Area, and I know the president has addressed that. Um, what's in the works, or what are his thoughts about the increasing violence against Asians and the AAPI community? Well, the reason the president spoke about hate crimes, the violence against Asian American community, the threats that many communities are experiencing, and his one and only primetime address as president is because he thinks this is a problem across the country. And I certainly know it's a big problem in Northern California specifically. It's something that he, uh, in his first week of office, signed an executive order uh, in order to in, invest in and ensure that there's an across government approach to this, addressing this issue. Uh, he has asked uh, in within the White House, Cedric Richmond and Susan Rice, two of his senior advisors, to have listening sessions to have a better understanding of what steps can be taken. He's asked the Department of Justice and the uh, Department of, of Health and Human Services to also do listening sessions. Part of what we need to do is hear and understand what's going to help communities address uh, aggress address these threats, address the violence that, that they're seeing. I also asked Jen Psaki about gun legislation and if there will be any after the two recent shooting massacres in Atlanta and Boulder. She says the Biden administration is reviewing that right now and says executive orders are possible, but she did not give a specific timeline. And as for the vaccine supply, she says by the end of May, there will be enough supply for every American who wants a vaccine to get one, but it will take a little bit of time to distribute them all. Terry?